All right. I mean, whilst we looked at anything with Carl Pilkington, so we got uh, Ricky, Stephen, and Carl, Linda. Carl on Investments and Inventions. But yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Saw that out today. Idiot abroad. Fool's gold. I give you a million to spend, and you've got one year to make two million. I've got a double a million. Yeah. You can, you can gamble, you can put it all on a horse, or you can put a little bit on a horse. You go to Dragon's Den. You go, look, I've got an idea. Clippable mug. What about the tie with, like, you can carry scissors in and well, stuff? It's already out there. Is it? Yeah. What, was you, what was the first thing you'd do with that? If I said you've got, you've got a year to make one million, and you've, already, you've got this million? Just do loads of stuff. Well, then, go on, then. What's the first thought? What do you do? Antiques and um, buy antiques, flog them on, art. Right. I buy a house in Bulgaria. What do you know about whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to buy a house <laughs> in Bulgaria. That's your first thought. How much is the house in Bulgaria? 100 grand. Right, how much do you want to sell it for? I'm going to sell it for 200, I'm going to do it all. You're going to double your money on a house Easy. within a year. Easy. You've got to make 130. Oh, yeah, I'm spinning plates here. This is Go on, what else are you So you've got to keep flying to Bulgaria to yeah, check on I've the I've got places. the local builders on it. <laughs> right. In right. Bulgaria? Yeah, got plate spinning. Right. Antiques on the go. I'm buying What's scratch antiques? cards. You're buying scratch I'd cards? I buy a load of scratch How cards. How many? <laughs> 5,000 scratch cards. Right. I'd have some kids doing that. I'd say, right, you can have a fiver. Um, You're giving you it all to all. <laughs> I haven't got time. Wait. <laughs> He's going to do scratch cards. He's got kids. I'd give you a fiver. They'd be like, piss off, old man. What in the world? <laughs> So Ricky's giving him, talking about giving him a million. He's got a year to make turn it into two million. He's talking about buying it. How's the housing market in uh, Bulgaria exactly? But he's talking about antiques and buying art. Like he's got all kind of. I guess he's he's not into the stock market, which I mean I guess it's basically legal gambling, but still. I'm giving this, it them to do. This is the worst. Idea I've ever heard. How that my my, my million's gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's no, it hasn't. I mean, I've just... it hasn't. If you've got money, you make money. That's a fact. Where is Bulgaria? <laughs> somewhere I know Bulgaria is good for property. I've seen right. a lot of property programs. Do you That's mean what Belgravia? I do. I just watch... No, no, no. There's a lot of play... things that you can do with property, antiques, and what buying else? classic cars and doing a lot. <laughs> So you're doubling your money on a classic car in a year? I'm, yeah, but I've made stuff, I've made inventions. What have you done? Do the Dragon's Den. Like you say, the clip on my idea. Like, you have your cup there, but look at that saucer. Every time I have a, have a little bit of tea, I'm talking to you, I've got to go like that. I've got to look exactly where I'm putting it again. Right. The clip on my is stuck on. It's, it's attached to it at all times. That's ridiculous. You, how's it going? And if what? I want, I have to put it down there, I can put it down there. I'm not limited as to the surface that I can put it on. It's attached. Washerproof. But dishwasher proof. It's an idea. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> this is good. Kills you down. That's gonna give you a headache. Not get rid of one. Look how complicated it is just for a toilet. You don't have the, the skill of Bill Gates. Just have a shit. Can't do any of that. Can't do that stuff. <laughs> Bro, Carl is just anytime I see anything with him in it, he is such a joy because he, his mindset with everything, like he he thinks prag like very practical and pragmatically, right? That's that's his mindset, but his his sense of I don't know, I, I don't know. It's just the way he takes and says things, and the way he sees the world, and his delivery on getting it out, and his. His very cut and dry sarcasm as well thrown into everything. He's just he's a he's a treasure to watch. I've always enjoyed I've been told a hundred times, hey, react to an idiot abroad. I can't. I've seen that show like four times. If I were to do it now, it'd be re an idiot review of an idiot abroad. Right, because I couldn't do it as a reaction. It had to be like first time reacting on the channel, but I've seen it like four times. I absolutely love that show. It's been a couple years since I've seen it. I, I'm actually I wouldn't mind watching it again, to be honest with you. But I couldn't do it as a reaction just because I've seen it. I absolutely love it. His pissing and moaning all the way through is hysterical. I mean, his little nuggets of stuff that's just 
makes sense, but just the way he way it comes across and he he says stuff is just that show was absolute gold mine. But it's a robot. It's a crisp picker upper. If you want some crisps but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker upper. I like the fact that you've got a bit of a rebellious streak in you sometimes. You go off road. And I called you when you're in Japan and you drop this bombshell that you've finally decided the one thing you want to do before you die. And that was to invent something. And you said it's because you wanted to leave a legacy, which I thought was brilliant. Well, just because you're, you're dead longer than you're alive, aren't you? OK. I'm coming up with stuff all the time. That's why I think this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. I can't do this sort of thing, really, this sort of job of being on the telly. Look at Dyson. It's only a vacuum cleaner. Yet he's up there with Einstein and everything. He's well rated just for a vac. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. It doesn't have to be a cure for cancer. I'm not going to come up with that. All I can do is come up with something that I needed at the time and that I think other people will go, do you know what, that's a bloody good invention. So something that benefits mankind? Yes. OK. He, he, he pitched me the idea over the phone and I said, I'm out. <laughs> OK, well... Pitch it to me now, then. Right. In Japan, they don't have these... You mean they don't have... Chairs. They don't have chairs? Yeah, of course they have chairs. You try finding one. You sit on the floor all the time. <laughs> when you go in a restaurant, you sit down cross-legged. Get a flat <laughs> ass and your legs ache. Yeah. Yeah. So you've invented what? It's the Pilko yeah. pump. <laughs> <laughs> They got chairs in Japan. Oh my God. Try finding one. Like so matter of fact, I'm not sure you were there long enough to find everything, homie. <laughs> I'm sure people sit in chairs at their houses. Pant. I'm sorry. The Pilco pump pant. It's a pair of pants with a cushion built in the ass. <laughs> the inflatable pant stops your ass from getting wet. For men or women. Do you know the thing you put on your neck when you're on long flights? Yeah. I've used that. That yeah. isn't how the finished thing would look when I, <laughs> when I make it. You know, this is a prototype. Pilco pump. Yeah. yeah, oh, I'm going to have a headache. I can already feel the headache again. Oh, my God, this mofo right here is so stupid sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not... It's... <sighs> Inflate. Oh my God! You you want it inside the pants, right? You can push something on the pants and it inflates inside the pants. So you got the cushion. I don't know how that would keep your bottom from getting wet, but still. Oh my God! Excellent. I sold some on a shopping channel. You're slagging them off. You're saying I'm out. Watch this. But this is the lovely man I was talking about. It is our lovely Carl to bring you some trousers. All right. How's it going? Hello. <laughs> good one. Good one. Morning, everyone. Hope you're well. It's the pants we're selling today. Look at that. Not bad, that, is it? You've come on the telly to flog me a pair of pants. We know about pants. We've seen pants before. You haven't, Looks like you, you got, got a, oh, my pants. God, a full diaper. It's that bit there. That's the seller. That's what we're here for. That's what we're talking about. It's the Pilco pump pant. The way it works is you've got a big zip, a good quality zip. Look at that. Doesn't stick. It's a quality zip. What the f <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Oh my god. What the actual oh my god. Number one, you would have to You can't walk around with that on you. I'm sorry, you just couldn't. You look like you got a full diaper back there. You're looking like a, a two legged horse with a diaper. So you don't shit in the road. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, this is read my love, Carl. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Alright? Open it. There it is. There's the cushion. You might have one of these already. <laughs> Shove it in there. You know you're going to be sat down for a while. You're waiting for that order of the sofa. You're waiting at the bus stop. You haven't got a seat because the queue's big. The buses are delayed. 
where you're going to sit. But the beauty is you can sit where you want. Sit on concrete. Sit on the road. Not on the road. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> sit on the <laughs> pavement. Sit on grass. How good is that? And there's only 15 pairs available. 15 pairs in the whole world. Do you want to be one? Oh there's my still God. 15 left. To have the Pilco pump pants. Look at him. Uh, Look at him in them. There you go. It's, it's, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Show you how easy it is again. It looks like some sort of medical yeah. procedure, doesn't it? That's what people would think if they saw you all in They think that you've, you think you've <laughs> had your ass removed. Get rid of that. <laughs> yes. Look at that for a pocket. <laughs> Look at that. Like I say, we carry more and more stuff around think with Think of carrying stuff in that. In the, your arse. Yeah. Rattling around with stuff. Yeah. Mobile phones, oh, football. Laptops, iPads, all that lot. Fruit. That. Oh, my Look God. Who's pocket. putting a laptop in, the, in their Milk. arse? Bread. You nip out to the shop. Milk, Milk. loaf, bread. You don't want to buy a carrier bag. They're charging you five pence a bag at the moment at a supermarket. Yeah. No, I'm not buying a bag. You just turn round at the cash point, stick your milk in there, stick your bread in there, off you go. A big, big pocket. You've got this. Health and safety these days. You've got that in there. You like a walk. Maybe buy some for your young kid. You're walking by the canal. He falls in. Is he a good swimmer? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but if he falls in, he's got something to keep him buoyant. Upside down, like that. He's, he's, he's like that. He's drowning. Like like a like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just that he could. Help him out if he fall in a canal, a lake, a river. Um, anything else? Anything else goes? Hang on, let's see how the orders are going. Have we had anyone calling in yet? Two people on the phone. What do they want? Do they want to talk to me or is that just... They've gone. We've sold them. Job done. Brilliant. Cheers for that, everyone. These are how they look in real life. This is the Pilky Pump Pant. Pilko Pump Pant. Yep. OK. I mean, it looks ridiculous. It does look ridiculous. So does most fashion these days. OK, no, good, yeah, no, yeah, if it was... Yeah, no, you're right, yeah, it's all arbitrary. Sit down. Yeah. Sit, well, why are you sitting well, the chair? You don't need a chair. That's doubled up. You must be too comfortable. Sit on the floor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sit on the floor there. Too comfortable. Be... And I suppose particularly useful if you've had a finger up the arse. Right, there you go. So... Right. Yeah. Dead comfy. Yeah. Really comfy. Um, Carl, can you go and... Bring me my sort of bread and milk and stuff that I... Have you got five pence for a carry bag? I, I, I haven't, no. Well, I haven't. <laughs> Hang on, don't worry about that. See you in a minute. What did you want? Bread and milk. Some groceries, yeah. Look, imagine walking down the street wearing that. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Carl, it looks... <laughs> it looks <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> He doesn't know. It does. <laughs> it looks like that. You, no, no one. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? I mean, look, it'd be, that'd be something do you take and give to somebody who's had some kind of surgery, right? It, oh, my God. They've had some kind of rectal surgery or they've had some work done, or like hips or something like that. Maybe it's an extra cushion. But that's the reason why you've got the donut you can carry around and sit on. He got milk and bread and them damn things. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, bro, if I see somebody walking down the road with something like that, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> I'm going to give him a swift kick in the ass and see how well that bread takes and cushions that shit for him. No one will walk down the street like that. <laughs> Hold on, Carl. I bought you um. No, look, look, Carl. Carl, no restrictions. I bought you a couple of cups and saucers. Yeah. Can you take? I bought you these for you. you got a bag. Oh I've got my head. No, just pop them in. Right, pop you... them in. You, you, yeah. You see, you... yeah. Just. Oh, well, can you? Shove them in. Yeah. Just put them in there. There you go. The... The... So right. what I said. <laughs> Just say for that, yeah. All right, OK, all right, yeah, go. Run for the bus, right. mate. Quick, there, quick there, mate. Run, bus, run, 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 quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Suzanne's at home. Oh, here comes Carl. Here comes Carl. <laughs> With our new crockery. Honestly, that isn't pulling me down or anything. That is fine. That's... It's absolutely ridiculous. No, well, you'd bubble wrap them normally, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my head.
Oh, I'm two videos in today and my head already hurt and thanks Carl. Oh, that crazy. Oh Lord. I get what he's wanting to do. Talking about leaving behind a legacy and stuff like that, right? I completely understand that a hundred percent. Um, however, <laughs> um, these pants, I'm not so sure they were well thought out. <clears throat> How often does this man sitting on the sidewalk is my question for him to come up with this. Like, or how, how often is he sitting on, you know, on the, on the grass and everything like for him to come up with this? How often? <laughs> like for real. Oh dear Lord. Oh my head. There's not many, there's not been many videos that I've reacted to on here or like, with an idiot abroad. There's not too much stuff I, I've watched that has Carl that I haven't, by the end of it, been at some point or multiple points just doubled over with laughter, half unable to breathe, snorting like a pig because of the hilarity of stuff. And his idea, I get it, want to take an event something and leave something behind, right? I get that. Whatever. You know, make life easier for the person behind you. I completely get that concept. It, good thing to take and shoot for, right? However, I'm not sure that's the way to do it. That oh my god, oh my god, Pilco pump fans. G Manetti. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Lord have mercy, I got a headache uh, cause of it. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.